Hey everyone, so today I'm going to teach you how to make the Rainbow Loom double bracelet. Um, I learned this all by myself. There was no tutorials, so I knew how to make a triple, and then I just figured out how to make a double. I never ever any ever saw any other tutorial. I've been meaning to do this for a while, so um, ever since I figured out, I've been wanting to do this, but yeah, so I'm... Basically, I'm going to tell you the materials, and then I'm going to go into some in-depth explaining. Um, so, please don't get mad at me that I'm talking a lot. It's just, I need to do some explaining. So, basically, you just need some rubber bands. You can do um, what connects this. See that? The black right there that connects these two. You can either use a different color or the same color. I choose to do the same. So... Like, as you see in the triple here, I use a different color, but in my doubles, I do the same. So, yeah, you could either have two or three colors. Um, around, uh, there's like about 12 of this for me, and then 34 for this for me, which is glow in the dark. Um, but it might be different for you. So, yeah, and you're going to need a C clip or an S clip. Here is the difference between those. And of course, you're going to need a rainbow loom and a hook. So, um, I'm going to explain everything. Um, just a bunch of different things now. And if you want to skip this, you can go ahead and do that. But it is very important. So basically, I want to explain is um, I have gotten a ton of requests for the starburst bracelet without the loom and I'm telling you this right now anything but this bracelet and this bracelet is impossible without the loom except for like the three peg fishtail which I've never made but I've heard of it that's like you just use three fingers and my friend made up one that's all I know without the loom. There's no other tutorials with, at, like, a Starburst without. That is physically impossible unless you've got 39 pegs, like, or 39 fingers, like, like, right there. Like, no. So, I just wanted to clear that up, that it's, like, impossible to do other bracelets without the loom. So, yeah, sorry, but um, I've had a lot of requests for the Starburst, and yeah, so it's just, I just want to start with something simple, and so base, take you guys up the ladder of Rainbow Loom. So, yeah, I'm just going to get started with the tutorial. Alright, so you're going to take your Rainbow Loom, and make sure the arrow is facing away from you. Always start with it facing away. And what you're going to do is take one color and start all the way to the left. We always work left to right when working with the rainbow loom. And we're just going to hook one on and hook it forward. So, and then hook another, hook it forward. Hook another, hook it forward. Hook, forward. And just do this all the way down. So now you have this. Okay, now take your other color and do the same thing on the middle peg and go forward. Do that all the way forward. So then we have this. And now what we're going to do is um, take a rubber band wrap it like the infinity and then put it back on your finger so it's doubled up and then skip this first one put it right here in the middle and up see that so diagonal and we're just going to keep doing that so double it up hook it double it up Put it on. See that? It's really simple. So I did it all the way up. And now, 
see the arrow is facing away from you. Now you're going to turn it so it's facing towards you. So see that? How there is these little holes here? That's so you can um so you can hook all your rubber bands. So what we're going to do is start right here. And we're going to go in. See this through this little capping band and hook it off and then hook it forward and then so it's really simple go down all the way grab our band the one on the bottom and hook it forward if it doesn't like kind of pull then you hooked a wrong rubber band so go down hook and pull forward and hook forward and um, a little trick is to always push down your rubber bands like, like that. And another trick when hooking is you never hook when the hook is like facing you. See that? See how my hook is facing you guys? Yeah. You don't want to hook like that because then it's like awkward. You always want to hook so the smooth side is there. So you can push back all these and grab the rubber band you're looking for. Okay, so we're just going to do that all the way up. Okay, so I did that. The glow in the dark. And now I'm going to do the pink. So what you're going to do is basically the same thing. Go under all this. Grab the pink. Hook off. And hook forward. See how it's a little awkward? It's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, and now go down all the way. Hook it. Hook it up and hook it forward. Okay? And we're going to push all these back. Grab the very bottom and hook forward. See that? It's really simple. Okay, and we are just going to do this all the way to the top. Alright, so I finished hooking all my rubber bands and now I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, so what you're going to do is take this last one. See this? We're going to hook both of them. See that? Like that. Hook it off and then hook it over here. Like that. Or you could take this one and hook it up here. I just feel it's easier to hook this one down because it's less stretching. But whatever you want. Okay, so now we're going to take another rubber band, and we're going to see this tag right here, this last one on the right, and we're going to go under all these rubber bands, all of them, and then we're going to hook on our rubber band, like that, and what I do is I like to turn my hook so it's not going to hook anything else, and we're going to pull it up through, and then hook on another rubber band. And what you can do is either you can add half your extension now or later. I like to do mine later. So we're just going to unhook. So not unhook. You're just going to pull off your bracelet. Not so rough, but just enough to um, get the rubber bands off. I'm sorry, that was my hand like in the camera. The whole time. I'm very sorry. And there you have it. Almost. Um, but we need to add an extension because it's too short. And you can either add an extension by going like this and just hooking off and hooking back on. You know, making like a regular rainbow loom bracelet um, without the loom or what you can do is just add an extension like on the loom basically how you do that is what I like to do this might be a little confusing to you guys I just start however many back I need to so it's just like one I need that's one rubber band two three four and five so right now I only need 
three, so I'm just going to hook forward three, starting from there. I'm sorry if this is confusing, but it's really not. See that? Like that? And then I just take, turn the loom around, take this, and put it, put it on like that. And then what you do is you just take this rubber band, go down through all of them, and hook the bottom, and hook forward. It's really simple. Hook the bottom, hook forward. Hook the bottom, and hook forward. And then add a clip. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Um, or you can just add all of them to one side. But I am like a perfectionist, blah, 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 with the stuff. So I like it all to be even. So now I'm just going to do the same thing to this side. Okay, I finished hooking forward my extension. Now what I do is I make sure that this is going straight forward. And then I just, just take the C-clip that's already hooked on. And just hook it on to my last little like, little loop, loop rubber band. And see that? It's even, which I like. And there you have it. A double bracelet. Rainbow loom bracelet. Um, so I hope this whole tutorial was helpful. In my next tutorial, I am going to be doing the caterpillar. Give it a thumbs up, um, and you guys will get more Rainbow Room tutorials. If you thumbs down, then you are just a loser. And, yeah, so, um, don't thumbs down, or you're a loser. Um, but if you did not like the tutorial, please tell me why very nicely, because I hate haters, and haters will be blocked. So, um, yeah, um, just, I hope you enjoyed, um, so yeah, bye guys, I love you, thanks for 4,000 subscribers.